everyone so today um, the task for you uh, is to uh, understand uh, how to look at some existing projects software projects especially and uh, see how you can improve the uh, security related uh, task or requirement in these projects so <laughs> Uh, initially what you need to understand uh, the objective of this task uh, is to look at a software code or a project look it from architectural perspective or the code perspective and understand uh, what are the concerns that you have in terms of security so uh, there are so many issues that uh, you can identify so if you go to uh, uh, cert secure coding standard uh, so you'll be able to find out uh, interesting uh, standards uh, say as an example here you have the cert c coding standard similarly there's one for java so so there are several of them so you can uh, look at a project and the coding uh, and identify uh, several issues which are uh, related to security so now how do you start this uh, particular task so I would say uh, the best uh, best place to start is looking for open source project so there are so many open source projects uh, which is available in the internet there are so many ways that you can find them so I have uh, go to this particular site called awesomeopensource.com uh, which basically uh, lists down a lot of open source projects so as you can see uh, there's plenty in different different uh, subtopics if you go to blockchain there's many around 73 projects right uh, and then cloud computing 80 code quality 28 so likewise uh, you'll be able to find out so I'm going to search for security yeah, so I find around 396 projects on security. Oh, I think it's more, much more than that. Anyway, the point is, uh, if you can find a security-related open source project, that'd be much better uh, because uh, you'll be having some experience also what are these open source projects uh, related to uh, software or information security. So we'll go into uh, one of these sublinks. Uh, I type in security here and you find a lot of links and they yeah, will randomly select something we'll select something like uh, setup okay mm, yeah we go to this mitm proxy so something similar to burp right so it's interactive tls capable intercepting hd proxy so i'm going to this site uh, where We'll have the details of the MITM proxy so that's a project which is used uh, by security professionals and also you guys can go to the github link where you will find out uh, uh, details of uh, the code so so as we have discussed this uh, a lot of times before right about github and uh, how to use it even most of our Work we have to upload to github so we have done it uh, so as you can see uh, you can find all the details uh, and this is the readme file so you can have a bit of details about the project and the documentation so everything is listed here and there's a slack channel also for this particular project so you can join the slack channel and you can discuss about this project so other than the task of identify security related issues um, this particular process uh, working with uh, open source project will bring a lot of uh, skills to you so um, it can be really useful for your CV because if you work as a contributor um, so that will be really valued so, so as you can see the slack group is something very useful if you click in uh, you'll be able to join in uh, and also there are a few things like uh, yeah, the source code is there 
and then you can see the issues uh, so it's a frequently updating project which is really good so as an example see they are doing some changes here so it's 18 hours ago so things are moving on really nicely and there are so many issues discussed so there's plenty of things to look at which is quite interesting and also there are several pull requests so pull request uh, in open source literature is basically you want to do a change uh, to the project so you can send this request uh, to the uh, people who are basically owning the uh, owning this particular project it can be one person or two like more than one person or it can be organization so you can make a pull request but you have to understand that uh, there's some guideline that you have to use when you're doing that so this task also you wanted like you to make a kind of even a dummy pull request to see like okay whether you uh, understand than this particular process so you can read through some of these issues and also pull requests uh, what people are doing and how people are doing that so that can be interesting and also there are other things like security insights all these things but uh, first thing is when you find a project like that and you want to work with it if you want to uh, run this compare this deploy this and see the first thing is you have to fork this so once you fork it you always get uh, your own copy so that's a cool feature in github so you get your fee, uh, you get your own pack or the repo uh, so then you can do any changes that you want to do here it doesn't reflect in the master repo and also you can uh, of course get this uh, github link copied right and then you can use uh, whatever mm, familiar uh, id to you uh, it can be uh, vs code so whatever is convenient so you can uh, or any other id and you can basically uh, download this code base and uh, offline you can work with it right all right so that's basically uh, how to get it started and then um, uh, you have to know a bit about uh, how do you contribute to this sort of projects but remember always our contribution should be always um, to identify some security concern uh, within this project so um, there are so many things to look at so it can be web security issues or it can be system security issues or it can be coding issues so you can do a security code auditing so there are so many aspects that you can look into all right so i like you to go to this site so this is uh, open source dot guide okay, so this is hope you can see the uh, URL and when you go here there's a uh, there's a nice set of guidelines provided for you to start getting started with working with open source projects right uh, so um, I will first go to this particular section called uh, how to contribute to an open source project uh, which can be quite uh, um, useful so if you go here uh, uh, so there's some set of important things to look at um, now mm, first thing is uh, let, let us check uh, okay the initial part is not that important but uh, mm, you have to know a bit of about open source project so here you can see uh, typically an open source project has the following types of people there's an author so organization that created the project uh, and the owner where the administrative ownership and then the maintainers are there will be uh, these are can be uh, contributors who will be uh, responsible of uh, driving this and also um, other contributors so that is anyone right so anyone can do that because it's, it's like open source project so anybody can participate so there's no restrictions and uh, yeah the other the people are community members who will be using it downloading and using it and also there's uh, a licensing scheme which you have to uh, understand so uh, every open source project has its licenses so if you take one random project uh, mm, okay even this one there's a license uh, there's a mighty license so you can see that right so yeah so these are the permissions uh, which it provides us commercial use modification distribution and also limitations right and some other conditions so that's basic about the license all right mm. and then uh, you have uh, the readme file 
and also the other related documents which you can read. And here the important part, so there's issue tracker which I showed you earlier and the pull request. So this is uh, what you're requesting. So this can be quite interesting. So not that all your pull requests, if you even do one uh, that get uh, added or accepted. So it's a process like you have to go through that process and uh, then you can learn how to do that. Right, and then uh, of course, like I mentioned earlier, like there are so many uh, ways that you can find projects to contribute. So you have the GitHub Explorer, from there you can find, and there's one called opensourcefriday.com, and Code Triage, and so many other. And I have also listed down this awesome opensource.com, that's also another place to start. And then uh, there's a checklist. So when you look at an open source project, so check basic things like uh, whether this uh, this is a friendly project where you can obviously join there are some serious projects which people do not really consider about much about contributors um, and also how many contributors does the project have how often do project people commit so you can look at that and also how many open issues are there so more the issues you can probably jump in uh, and also sometimes maintainers respond very slowly or quickly so if you want to get a bit of a fun and also uh, to go ahead with the learning process so this can be also important mm, and so there can be a lot of discussions which is good I mean uh, that does mean that uh, you can learn a lot uh, yeah and also pull request how many open pull requests do make the response quickly and some of these pull requests are they recent so it can, can be hanging uh, pull requests meaning like project is not moving ahead so even if you look at uh, this OS projects, there are some projects which is pretty old and not being uh, had any updates uh, for, for a long time. And also whether you can check whether the project is welcoming, you know, so that's also is a part of it. You know? Right, and then, uh, so once you want to contribute, so there you have to use sort of guideline. This we have discussed even bug bounty, like uh, bug bounty also there's a guideline to follow, otherwise uh, people will not consider it has a professional submission uh, so you guys have to uh, basically uh, use this uh, guideline provided so you have to give a context help others get quickly up to speed if you are running into an error explain what you are trying to do and how to reproduce it and also do your homework beforehand so it's very important to your homework it should be proper properly written down and also you don't write a lot of text be short and direct because uh, most of the time these pull requests are looked at by software engineers developers these people like to keep things short and sweet mm, and also uh, this pub this communication all can be public right so mm, it means a lot to your image also so so make sure that uh, you know you write uh, something correct and also uh, you'll be patient you know so this open source world you cannot expect people to work really really fast because it's all uh, on your own time so true you can earn money from open source software but still you have to understand like this is what people love to do so you can't push them like right? you can't push them too hard right, so that's basically how it works and uh, so um, you can uh, learn by yourself how to do this process uh, basically how to pull, uh, set the pull request right and remember uh, you don't get all uh, pull request uh, you don't get responses even uh, but, but that's how it is so you have to understand the process first and then you have to uh, be with it for some time then you will get added as a contribute so it takes time so overall again so this is basically uh, what you guys should do uh, and uh, so I have not discussed too much about like okay so how do you find the security concerns? How do you find your security issues? So that's actually your task. So you, because you don't have a lot of time to do this, um, you might have to do a quick learning. So you find some nice YouTube videos online. So how to look at open source project or for any project for that matter and find out major quick issues of, uh, so, of security. So some of these projects being looked at by a lot of people. So through that uh, these things are corrected but still uh, it's it's worth to look at them and even find out how they have done it find out okay how these people have solved that issue right uh, so get uh, like at least two to three issues uh, documented and uh, the process would be uh, so for the several uh, other assessments also 
so we will go with the different process because of the corona issue so um, what we'll do is basically uh, uh, we'll set up times online um, or offline for that matter and we'll have uh, you guys creating the videos so then we'll have a kind of a showcase on videos and others also will give marks like peer-to-peer -peer reviewing and also I'll also give marks for this uh, imaging topics uh, session all right so um, that's basically it uh, so we'll see how it goes so so please uh, uh, please uh, put your questions in the slack channel so and uh, so we'll discuss all right okay